Hello, welcome to another video of Course in the Pet. So in this video, we are going to look into two important annotations inside Spring, Primary and Qualifier. So these two annotations are used inside Spring to solve a specific use case or a specific problem we can say. Now in this video, we are going to identify that problem and we are going to solve it by using these annotations. We are also going to look into the differences between these two, right? So Primary versus Qualifier is something we are going to look into as well. So this is going to be a fun video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So let's first go through the agenda of this particular video. So let me bring up the agenda quickly. So there we go. So this is basically the agenda of this video. So primary and qualifier annotation, right? Important annotation inside Spring. So first we will first understand what is the problem that these two annotations are trying to solve. And then we will see how we can implement the solution, right? And we will see how to use primary and qualifier to implement that solution to solve this problem, right? What exactly these two annotations are, what is the use of it and what they are doing, right? After that, we will see the differences between them. So primary versus qualifier, right? When to use primary and when to use qualifier that also we are going to look into, right? So we are going to understand these two annotation by using a real life examples, right? So that's about the agenda. So what we can do now quickly is let's go ahead and see this application over here. So this is basically the existing code that we have, right? This is a ecom uh, project that we have used uh, to explain bean video, right? So in the bean video, we have seen this project already, right? So let's quickly go through what all things we have in this application. So this is the main application that we have, right? This is a Spring Boot application main class and we have few services. We have this product service, which is annotated with at the rate service. We have this interface, which is kind of a payment service, right? Which have one abstract method, let's say process payment, right? And we have two services, let's say Google Pay service or credit card service, right? So we haven't annotated uh, these classes with any Spring Boot annotation to convert it to Spring Bean. Rather, in order to convert it to Spring Bean, we have used payment config, right? And we have created a bean like that, right? But what else we can do over here is we can just comment it out, right? And instead of doing it by using configuration, we can just annotate it by using at the rate service, let's say. So this will be a spring service for us. And this one also we will convert to at the rate service, right? Now those are all the classes that we have in our project, right? Code walkthrough again is done, right? Now let's get started, right? what we can do over here is so let's understand the problem first now let's see what problem is occurring right so let me go back over here now what we can do over here is let's say let's say we write a new checkout service right so let's add a checkout service let's annotate it at by using the rate service and let's say over here we have a function let's say public void and place order or we can also name it by using let's say checkout order right and we'll just pass the double that we have uh, let's say amount right and for now what i will do i'll just add a simple print statement over here right so there we go so we have added a function over here right now in order to check out we need to process a payment right so we need to call a payment service right we need to call this method of payment service, which is process payment, right? So what we need to do is we need to, so how we are going to call this payment service, we need to inject payment service over here, isn't it? So what we will do, we'll inject payment service, right? How we are going to inject? We are going to inject, we are going to do field injection over here. So what I will do, I'll do auto wired, right? So auto wired, so this particular dependency is injected over here. And now what we can do over here is, oh, I'm adding it at a wrong place, not in product service. Let me remove this. Uh, we should do it in here in checkout service. We will add this particular dependency, right? So this is a field injection, right? You must know that this is a field injection. We have already covered it in dependency injection, right? So what if we will do now, we'll do payment service dot process payment and we'll just pass that particular amount over here, right? So now this will go and call payment service of this particular payment service, right? 
let's try to run this application and let's see what happens let me run this from here can you see this application failed to start that means our application is crashing right our application is crashing and what is the error it is saying field payment service in checkout service required a single bean but found two but two were found right which beans it found it is listing that one as well it is listing that it is finding credit card service and gpay service right so two beans it is finding so do you see what exactly is happening over here we are trying to inject a payment service which have two implementations so if you go inside this payment service you have two implementations first is credit card service and another is gpay service now these are spring beans that we actually have inside our application now when we inject payment service which one of these beans needs to be injected in checkout service that is a question in front of spring spring is confused which one to inject because it is seeing two beans isn't it now that is the problem over here that is a problem with dependency injection when we have two beans of same type right what exactly is happening let me try to visualize it now we have this payment service interface right so we have this particular interface that we are going to inject right but this interface have two implementations now credit card service and gpay service right so our spring application context will have two beans right credit card service and gpay service and it will return the same bean same type of bean right it will be a payment service right the type of that particular bean will be payment service right because we are trying to inject payment service and payment service is parent of these two right it's an interface basically right so both of these beans will be of type payment service right now when we inject payment service spring is finding two beans of same type which is payment service right and it is being confused which one to inject right so that is the problem over here right now let's go back and let's see this in detail so it is giving us that credit credit card service and gpay service two services i'm able to find which one you want right i don't know which one to inject okay you are just saying inject but there are two which one should i inject that is the question in front of spring right so here in the stack trace you see there will be a action so here is a action basically right it is also showing what action we can take it right? consider making one of these beans as primary right or using qualifier annotation to identify the bean that should be consumed right that means it is also telling us the solution on this problem right so this is a well known problem that usually happens and for that we have few annotations that we can use right now let's go and check out qualifier ones right so let's say in checkout service i want gpay service to be injected right so in this payment service i want the instance of gpay service right what we can do over here is we can add a qualifier annotation right and in the qualifier annotation we need to specify the name of our bean right so what is the name of our uh, google pay service over here is this gpay service right so i'll just copy this name and i will paste it over here right so i want this gpay service to be injected when whenever i am using payment service in this particular checkout service class right now let me uh, restart our application let's see what happens now as you can see our application came up just fine right now what we can do in order to check which bean is injected is write a post construct so what i'll do i'll do public void let's say we have a init method right and i'll just add some prop the print statement over here saying checkout service initiated right now this method we will annotate with post construct that means after the construction of this particular bean this method will be called right so let me add a debug point over here and let's rerun this application right let's see what happens now we should start it in debug mode actually so let's stop and rerun in debug mode so that it will stop over here yeah, so it stopped right now as you can see over here in payment service the instance is of google pay service right so gpay service is being initiated because we are telling it explicitly to do that right to inject gpay service not to inject the other guy credit card service right so that's how we can solve this particular problem by using qualifier right and same thing we can do 
uh, with other as well so we can just do replace this with let's say credit card service right so once we do that and rerun this in debug mode let's see which bean is being injected the debug points were muted so let's rerun it so as you can see now credit card service is being initialized right so that's how you can solve the problem now this is for field injection right what if we have constructor injection right so let me remove this and uh, what we can do over here is we can make it as private final let's say so once we make it final we need to use the constructor injection right for example we can add annotation auto wired on the constructor but that's again not needed even if we don't have it it will just consider it as a constructor injection right here again now i am using payment service right so this payment service it will try to auto wire and again fail because there are two payment services now in this case here we can add a qualifier annotation right in the same way and we can give the name right gpay service right so like that we can give it over here while doing constructor injection now when i stop and rerun it let's see what happens your application is coming up fine now i will run it in debug mode let's see which bean is being injected so if you can see over here in payment service again gpay service is being injected right so we have seen qualifier annotation and how we can solve the problem by using qualifier annotation right now let me remove this right and now in this case if i rerun this application it should fail ideally let's stop and rerun right so it failed again right qualifier we have seen now let's see primary now let's say we have one more class java class let's say default payment service right let's say we have default payment service which is again implementing payment service right and let's annotate it with auto wired not auto wired service annotation right so in order to convert that into a string service and let's implement the methods that we have inside payment service right let's add a print statement quickly saying default payment service right so i'll just add it over here consider this scenario now now we have three payment services let's say right default credit card and google pay and checkout service user can select service user wants let's say user wants google pay service it can select and accordingly we can inject it by using qualifier annotation right user wants credit card then accordingly we can inject by using qualifier annotation again right but let's say user does not want to select rather go with a default one whichever it is default can be cod right cash on delivery or default can be amazon pay or phone pay or anything right anything which is default user is ready to pay with that right so in that case primary annotation we can use what we can do now we have added one more service right now let's try to run this again and let's see uh, what error we are getting now we have three in place right credit card default payment service and google pay service so one more box i will put over here probably now we have third one as well right so default also we have added right now if user want google pay service he can select user google pay service we can add a qualifier annotation and it will be injected same for credit card service but if user don't want to select and let's go with the default one then in that case what we can do we can go on this default payment service and add a primary annotation and on top of it right now let's first try to run this application our application came up fine right what happened now let's go to our checkout service here now here we are not giving any qualifier annotation right no qualifier annotation basically is there now let's try to debug and see which one got injected right muted let's unmute it and try again probably right so i have unmuted it now and uh, now if you can see over here default payment service is injected even if we are not giving qualifier annotation it is still working and injecting default payment service what is the reason because we have added at the rate primary annotation on top of it meaning 
if there are multiple beans of same type right multiple beans of same type all these three beans of payment service type and there is certain bean which is annotated with at the rate primary annotation then that bean will be injected right that will that bean will be injected which one is primary right so the bean which is primary which will be injected right so here same thing we are seeing that default one is being injected right and our application is coming up fine so that is basically primary annotation for us right so let's quickly go back to our agenda and let's see what all things we have covered problem we have seen we have seen the solution we have seen both of uh, both of them primary and qualifier now let's see primary versus qualifier right what is the difference between these two we are doing but what is the difference right now the straightforward question which will be coming to your mind that what if we have both fair question right what if i have both uh, let's say we have a qualifier as well and in the qualifier i am trying to inject let's say gpa service right gpa service i am trying to inject over here in this case what will happen can you think for a second what will happen well let's try to debug this application again stop and rerun and now can you see now google pay service is being injected that means qualifier annotation have precedence over primary annotation right qualifier annotation have precedence over primary annotation that means if we are giving a qualifier annotation that i want this bean then it will return that particular bean if we do not have qualifier and spring don't know which one to inject but one of them have a primary annotation then by default spring will inject the bean with primary annotation right that is the difference between primary and qualifier right and this is again a case where we are using primary and qualifier annotations together right so we are giving a qualifier as well and we are giving default one as well which is primary right so this is again a case when we are giving together now let's see when to use primary and when to use qualifier right when to use is basically the difference between them right so there are certain cases where you go with primary certain cases where you go with qualifier right so use primary when you want to designate one of the bean as a default choice for dependency injection when there are multiple beans of same type right so there are these three beans right now in this case default payment service is marked as primary bean so whenever a spring needs a payment service and no qualifier annotation is specified it will inject default payment service as we have seen right example of that we have already seen that when we did not have any qualifier annotation on top of this particular checkout service right here our default one was being injected which had a primary annotation on top of it right and when to use qualifier use qualifier when you need to specify a particular bean to be injected right when there is a multiple beans of same type and you need to specify that i want this particular bean to be injected over here at that time use qualifier right here in this example i want gpa service so i am specifying it and that is being injected for me right it provides more explicit control over which bean should be used let's say if user is selecting that particular credit card or google pay service then we will inject it by using qualifier otherwise we will go with the default one which may be let's say anything cash on delivery for that matter right so those are the cases you can use primary and qualifier annotations right so according to your use case you can use either primary or qualifier or both of them right so that marks the end of it basically so i hope by now you have fair understanding of what is qualifier what is primary what is the problem these two annotations are trying to solve right how to use this particular annotation what are the differences between them and when to use primary and when to use qualifier right so if you like this video hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to code snippet share this video with your friends so that they also have a idea about primary and qualifier annotation that's it for this video see you in the next video